14th today and Esther and I are on our way to my mother's group um, which we still see I don't know a few times a year maybe even more um, so obviously not as often as when we were all on maternity leave but we still try to see each other when we can yes I'm going to telefon um, yeah, so Esther just wanted to know what I was doing and why I was doing it, so I just had to explain that to her. Anyway, so meeting up with them, we are very late because I slept in, and which was nice. Jakob was up with Esther, but then when I got up, she was not dressed or had any had had any breakfast so we needed to get that fixed and that always takes time getting shoes and jacket on takes time and um, now it's raining actually I think there may be um, a little bit of sleet I think it's called sleet in English 
in there too. So it would be quite nice if it turned into snow at some point. Um, uh, oh yeah, and so we are walking there because I didn't find my bag yesterday. The one I was looking for, the one that's stolen, is like a, oh, I don't know what you call it. It, is, it has three wheels and a big box on front, some, so you can um, transport packages and kids and whatnot in there. And then my regular bike, which is just a two-wheel bike, like a total normal one, um, is locked. And Esther played with my keys um, earlier this week, and they're completely gone, so I can't... Um, so there, there are the keys that are in there for everything. Basically the front door and our basement and um, my bike. So I'm out of transportation except for my legs. So we are walking there. <sighs> and I'm walking up the hill so that's why I'm a little out of breath. We are now back from our trip to the mother's group and Esther fell asleep in the stroller, which I suspected that she would, <laughs> um, but that's fine. It's around 12 o'clock now, so um, hopefully she'll sleep an hour or so. <clears throat> and Jakob and Freya are uh, at a brunch and I don't know when they will be home, but I'm thinking they'll be home quite soon. So. While I have a few minutes to myself, I am going to wrap some Christmas presents um, to just get that out of the way. I am done with the wrapping of gifts. Oh, I didn't have that many. One of there are five here, I think. And then I still have three more. But that's it for, for our Christmas gifts for us and for my family. Um, I've used, as you can see, just um, newspapers and these down here are just reusable, I don't know, packaging as well. I don't really want to use money on buying paper and I also, um, I th feel like most of the wrapping paper is just going to go being thrown, thrown out anyway. so. It just makes more sense to me to use newspaper um, for wrapping. And I kind of like it too. I feel like it's it's nice. And you know, if you use a, a nice um, whoop, ribbon, then it's quite a cute little gift. So a little tip if you don't want to um, use a lot of money on wrapping paper either, then just use newspaper. Nisse Gertrude has made a little something for the girls tomorrow that they need to do. There is a um, little seed here that they need to plant in this, which is this 
Oh, I don't know what it's called in English. Um, it's a type of... Uh, what is it called? I don't know. It isn't, it isn't really important. So it's just something that you can eat and you can make a porridge out of, basically. And then in here, there is a bit of magic dust. So once they have planted the seed, they need to just um, add the magic dust and then uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, uh, we'll see if something has um, grown. We made um, little gifts today or this evening after dinner. So these are key holders. I think that's what they're called in English. If not, I'm sure you can see what they're for. <laughs> um, but this is just a wooden bead that Esther has been painting these two. And then I asked her which pearls that she wanted to, or beads that she wanted to add for each of the persons who uh, got to get these as gifts. So, and I just used a, like a thin leather thread um, for these. Very simple, but just, you know, if you have a smaller kid then and you wanted to do a little gift or wanted to make a little Christmas gifts with them that people can actually use, <laughs> then um, this is quite a nice, quick and sweet little gift, I think. We are at the library, S and I, um, at my parents, or we are at my parents in uh, Linkubing, or just outside of Linkubing. Sorry, just had some hair in my face. <laughs> um, and Esther is playing with a car, and I just found this book, um, Christmas sweater book. Just have a look here.
evening on December, I think it's the 19th today, 18th or 19th, and um, we are at my parents, and I just, I'm working on that teddy bear that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks, and there's no recipe or anything for it, um, like a knitting pattern or anything, that's what I mean by recipe. <laughs> So I, I'm I'm knitting my own, and I've never knit any stuffed toy toys before, and it's been very trial and error, and it still is. But I just wanted to show it to you because I just had to laugh at it. It's it just looks. Well, let me show you, and you can see. Here it is. This is supposed to be the face, and oh, can you see the body? <laughs> This is the legs. Has quite short legs. Um, it just looks hilarious. It's super wonky. I just, oh my goodness. I have no clue. I don't know. I don't know about this, but I'm, I'm going to finish it up because I've been using time on it. Um, and I think she, I mean, she won't care. Um, it does have some very characteristic cheeks, so they're kind of round pink cheeks that I'm going to add on um, onto the face well obviously <laughs> um, and hoping that that's just gonna be enough of like a trademark that um, it will look like a chuga bear anyway I'm watching Molly of a homespun house her, her vlogmas um, we just went to visit my grandma we actually well, used the whole day going there and visiting her and going back home. Um, and my parents have gone to bed. So I just have a couple of hours watching Vlogmases. And doing a bit of knitting. And finishing up. Well, not finishing up, but working on this bear for Esther. just was laughing to myself <laughs> and I may just have a dirty mind but what do you think this looks like <laughs> I'm really happy that it's gonna be like two arms so hopefully <laughs> once the other arm is on they're gonna look like arms and not what I think right now. It's December 19th today and it is quarter past one in the afternoon. Esther is sleeping and I just took some pictures to post on Instagram which always takes longer than I anticipate. I think it took around an hour for I guess I'm gonna get two pictures out of it. So I don't always, I don't always are. I'm, what I'm trying to say, I'm not always as careful about 
the pictures that I take. Sometimes I just use my phone and that's fine too, but my mom just has so many nice Christmas decorations that I wanted to use for a little Christmassy photo shoot for the next week or so. Well, for to post the next week. And I also, uh, Jakob asked me if I wanted to take a picture for our newsletter for Fiber Folk. So I'm just going to use one of the two that I took um, for the newsletter as well. Yeah. We went to the, to the pool this morning, Esther and I. And um, I don't really think we have any big plans this afternoon. I would really like to do some vlogging. No, not do vlogging. I'm tired. I'm. I would like to do to watch some vlogs. So I hope I can do that for in half an hour before she wakes up. And um, maybe some emails. Though I'll probably do the emails in the evening when she's asleep again. left my parents house at 6 15 in the morning and it's around noon now because we are going on a one day trip <laughs> to Sweden just uh, him and I so that will be really nice uh, Esther is well she's at my parents still so they will take care of her this is the first time that she's been um, well I think they've taken care of her once once before, one time before, uh, maybe twice, and, but that's been at our house. So this is the first time that she's sleeping um, somewhere other than our house without me. Um, but I mean, it'll, she'll be fine. She really loves my parents, so. Um, yeah, and she's old enough now to sort of, I told her that I was leaving and she would be sleeping with, uh, or that my, her grandma or mama would put her to bed um, so I'm really looking forward to going to away just for a day with Jakob who is coming now uh, he's looking at me like what are you doing hi hi 